The state-sponsored kidnapping and torture of former CCC MP Honorable Chidhakwa is denounced by CCC Namibia, October 25, 2023. The ongoing state-engineered kidnappings, torture, and enforced disappearances of change advocates and human rights defenders for political reasons have angered Namibians who support the National Democratic Movement headed by Organic President Advocate Nelson Chamisa. We denounce the kidnapping and mistreatment of Honorable Chidhakwa, who was recently left for dead in Aksharis after being forced into a car in Harare, following the chaotic elections on August 23. This ceaseless use of violence on the alternative exposed ZANU Panic PF state ahead of the SADC meeting. The Namibia district is happy that Honorable Chidhakwa is dedicated to seeing the democratic movement through to the very end. Even in the face of torture, Given that the state agents under the direction of the ZANU-PF smashed his hands and legs and injected him with an unidentified drug, his understanding of the highs and lows of the struggle is exceptional. Zimbabweans must now embrace risky freedom in opposition to governmental tyranny. During the kidnapping, Honorable Chidhakwa cried out for help, but the Zimbabwean people disregarded him. Namibia district is troubled by the fact that the people constantly accuse the president of failing to give them the signal. It is evident that Zimbabweans are not yet ready for a full-scale uprising against oppression. Since social democracy is based on the principle of solidarity, it was expected that the people of Harare would show support for Honorable Chidhakwa during his kidnapping. Because the populace is unable to make the necessary sacrifices for improved living conditions for everybody. ZANU-PF is profiting from this. People nowadays are incredibly self-centered, and none of them are willing to pay the ultimate price. His determination to continue aiding the people's struggle in spite of the sideshows put on by Chibangu, a ZANU-PF proxy without a doubt, inspires us. We hope that Honorable Chidhakwa recovers quickly so that we may continue the national democratic battle against the demonic activities of ZANU-PF. People from all political persuasions must band together to put pressure on the regime on the political and diplomatic fronts. The Harare dictatorship should press the panic button and pursue all constitutional avenues. We all claim Zimbabwe as our own, and we call for justice, equality, and freedom there. The politically incompetent regime's loss in the elections is typified by the abductions. It won't be enough to make the pointless attempt to muffle dissenting voices. The people will peacefully rise up and demand that a new election be held by an independent body and that state-sponsored torture. Flagrant violations of human rights, looting, corruption, and violence prompted by political motives be immediately stopped. Zimbabweans are entitled to credible, fair, and free elections. It is imperative to oppose the attempt to dissuade social democrats by kidnappings in equal proportion. The people who have contributed a great deal to CCC since its founding will undoubtedly punish Shibangu and his superiors. Let's muster the courage, tenacity, and guts necessary to take these plunderers on. CCC Namibia is grateful to the African Union, SADC, and all other observation teams for speaking out against the fraudulent elections that were riddled with anomalies. People should not waver in their call for new elections in Zimbabwe. Be strong. Honorable Chidhakwa, Honorable Job Saro Waiwa Sikala, CLR, Wambra Shemhend, Jacob Ngarevhum, and all other political prisoners imprisoned due to politics. Tirupaka Rangano, Chero Vakarova say, Under the leadership of President ADV, Nelson Chamisa, our political generator, a new great Zimbabwe with independence, freedom, justice, and equality will undoubtedly emerge. Because ZANU-PF knows that the people are capable of revolution, they are scaring the public by kidnapping people, making arbitrary arrests, and holding them in custody without charge for extended periods of time. We call for Honorable Chidhakwa's justice, 